inspired, fun, and easy uses for coloring book pages. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Marie from Artistry by Lisa Marie. Welcome to the studio. For those of you who don't know me, I have been a professional artist for over a decade. Uh, I specialize in custom pet portraits and creating coloring books and coloring pages. And I earned my master's in art history in Florence, Italy while studying the Renaissance painters. Colorists like me love to color. It is what we do. It's our thing. Show us a coloring page and we are on it. This is a fun, relaxing pastime that encourages creativity, but we usually end up with a lot of colored in pages. Um, like a lot of used coloring pages, uh, piled up, nestled away in drawers and on bookshelves, hidden under our beds. You get the idea. We become colored page hoarders, which leads to the question, what should we do with all of these pages? Uh, maniacally stacking them into piles can only go so far and eventually, you know, the family and pets start to complain. So I did a little research for the sanity of my family and I found 10 super fun and easy uses for coloring, colored in pages. I mean, these are actually like doable and enjoyable, so I'm very excited. Quick reminder, uh, before I get into the 10 uses, remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. All right, number one, envelope liners. Who doesn't love getting a letter? It is a modern day thrill to open an envelope, peek inside to see a letter or a card. But what if the envelope also was a special treat? What if you wanted to up your game as a note sender? Your colored pages are here to help, and it is as simple as cut and paste. Just cut a colored in page to the exact shape and size as the inside flap of an envelope. Paste it on. When the recipient opens the envelope, they'll be delighted by the colorful surprise before they even read your letter. You can choose any nice image that you have colored in, Anything that appeals to you will work in this homemade DIY craft. Um, personally, I'm partial to animals. And printable coloring pages are fantastic because you can adjust them to print different sizes. So you can easily fit the image into the envelope or make a collage of images. If you don't have any envelopes hanging around, uh, that's all right. You can check out some uh, crafty brown craft paper envelopes with a self-sealed strips. Uh, I have their link in the video description uh, and they're self-sealed because I don't like to lick envelopes. Yuck. Number two, decorate gift bags. You went through the effort of getting or making a gift for someone, but do you just toss it in a bag? What are we, heathens? Nope. It's time to up your gift giving game with a DIY home craft project. Also, let's be real. It'll make your gift look way more cool than all the other gifts at the party. And remember to act nonchalant when people, you know, ooh and ah over it. What? That old bag? Oh, I just whipped up a nice little decoration. All you need is a plain gift bag, scissors, and glue. You can glue your entire colored page to the outside of the bag, or you can cut out your favorite shapes and designs and glue them on. Either way, this will make your gift obviously the best. If you're fresh out of gift bags, personally, I prefer brown craft bags. Uh, and naturally I put their link in the video description for you. Uh, they really suit the vibe of a DIY decorated uh, bag and the warm brown helps the colored page really stand out. Number three, make bookmarks. Yes, we're going full geek here. I mean, maybe you love books, but are you make your own bookmark level geek? It's time to up your bookworm game. And it's so easy to make this simple craft at home. Grab your favorite colored in pages, some cardboard, scissors, and glue. Cut the cardboard into small rectangles or whatever shape you want your bookmark to be and glue your colored pages on top. 
Some crafters like to laminate their colored pages instead of gluing them uh, onto cardboard, but I promised this list would be super easy, and I don't know many people who can easily get hold of a laminator. Number four, decorate your phone case. You worked hard on your coloring page, and you carry your phone with you everywhere. Doesn't it make sense to combine the two? Along with your phone case and colored in page, you will also need decoupage glue, such as Mod Podge. And yes, the link is in the video description to it. Trace your cell phone case on the back of your colored page. Remember to trace out any camera holes. Cut out the cell phone case shape you just traced. Cover your phone case in decoupage glue. Place the cut out colored page onto the case and place more decoupage glue on top. Uh, I suggest you let all the glue dry, then apply another coat. And also probably best if you don't keep your phone in the case while applying all this glue. Gonna pause for a moment and ask you to please leave a comment on this video. Uh, let me know if you've ever done any of these things that I'm talking about on this list, or let me know if anything from this list is inspiring you. Number five, hang it on your wall. You are an artist. Your finished coloring pages are art. They deserve a place on the wall to be admired. The major hindrance to this project is you. When you put your art on the wall, it's no longer just a craft. You are declaring it is worthy of wall space, that it deserves to be seen and admired. For some colorists, this is a big emotional obstacle. So let me be the first to tell you, you are fantastic. Your art deserves to be seen. And you deserve to be admired for your artistic skills. To hang your art on your walls, you'll need some picture frames, a hammer, and nails. There are plenty of ready-made frames you can easily order online. There are, however, a couple rules for hanging art I'm just going to put out there. One, hanging a single framed piece of art means it should go at eye level. Two, when hanging two pieces of art, treat them as one single work of art and hang them together. Three, when you hang a gallery display, which is three or more pieces of art, with you should include them with uh, consistent spacing uh, between each piece, usually two to three inches. Okay, number six, decorate a tote bag. You are busy. You have lots of stuff to carry around, so why not strut your awesome creativity with a tote bag? Then up your sauntering game with a tote bag embellished with your coloring art. It's super duper easy. Take a photo of your colored page or scan it. Then take the resulting JPEG image of your art and upload it to Zazzle. They have fantastic tote bags, super easy. Then you can just insert your image onto the tote bag. You can adjust the color of the tote bag to suit the color palette as well. And that's it. Zazzle will print the image onto the tote bag and ship it to you. Easy peasy. Number seven, decorate a flameless candle. Is coloring the light of your life? Take your finished coloring pages and set them aglow with a flameless candle. This idea is all about ambiance. The flameless candle adds a bit of soft lighting and your colored pages adds a bit of color and personality. I know many colorists prefer thick paper for coloring, but for this project, thin paper is better, uh, you know, to let the light through. You'll need a flameless candle, Mod Podge, and a foam paintbrush. And your, you know, colored in page. Slather some Mod Podge glue onto your candle, wrap the candle with your colored in page, then add a layer of Mod Podge onto the colored page to set it in place around the candle. If your coloring page is taller than the candle, wait for the Mod Podge to dry, then trim off the top layer of paper. 
Ta-da! Your candle is marvelous and oh so unique. I like printable coloring pages for this project. That way, you know, you can print the image on the paper you want. Plus, some printable coloring pages are available as JPEG images, which makes them super duper easy to just print, color, enjoy, and glue. Number eight, line a drawer. Ever open a drawer and notice a hint of personality underneath all the knickknacks? Or was that just my grandma who taught me to do this? <laughs> okay, so that's probably a drawer liner. And your coloring page is probably the perfect bit of color your drawer needs. This is especially inspiring in your craft supplies storage drawer. You'll need a few things. Your colored page, fix-a-tiff, scissors, and double-sided tape. Uh, tape is nice because it's not permanent. First, spray the colored page with fix-a-tiff. That way your colors won't smudge. Next, make sure your page will fit in the drawer. If not, whip out the scissors and trim the edges. Uh, like my dad always says, measure twice and cut once. Then tape the page into the drawer. For this project, I prefer thicker paper. I want my paper to hold its own against all the goodies I keep in my drawers. And by goodies, I mean all the random stuff that, you know, I toss in, then forget, then desperately look for later. Okay, only two ideas left. If you are loving this list, please hit the like button on this video, leave a comment, and let me know. Number nine, wrapping paper. I mean, it is paper. So you could absolutely wrap a gift with your colored in pages. The only drawback is your gift probably needs to be fairly small. Uh, if your gift is a bit larger, you can still use your colored in paper. Simply wrap the gift in brown craft paper, then tape your colored page on top. I prefer tape instead of glue. Glue can accidentally seep through the paper and get onto the gift. Again, double-sided tape works great. You can put the entire page onto the gift or cut out the most dynamic part of the page and tape it on. And brown craft paper is hardy enough to serve as a wrapping paper and your colored page as that special pizzazz. And last but not least, number 10, make cards. You put all that time and effort into a coloring page. You gave it your all. Why not share your creativity with a heartfelt or funny message? In fact, you could color the page with a certain recipient in mind. Use their favorite colors. Choose a coloring subject that they like. In a way, this is the ultimate customized gift. Simply fold your image in half and bam, instant card. What's that? You want it to be more difficult? Okie doke. How about you print out a coloring page on heavy cardstock paper? That way your homemade card will stand more easily. Also, thicker paper is often easier to write on. Pen can leak through thin paper. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video and stay creative. Bye.